So we're driving to Poseidon early while level 1 inside of Jailbreak Season 16. Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video inside of Roblox Jailbreak. So Season 16 was recently released and with it came a bunch of new items such as spoilers and rims. So we'll be checking out all the rewards early inside Jailbreak as well as driving the grand prize Poseidon vehicle this update. My name is Model and let's get right into the video. So like I said in the intro, Season 16 is here and all players have been reset back to level 10. Now I am level 2 because I did complete my first set of contracts, however if it is your first time joining Jailbreak this update, you'll be placed back at level 1 and will have to recomplete all your contracts all over. But if we press on the reward progress button right at the bottom, it will bring up all 10 rewards we will be unlocking this season pass. Now if you're wondering how you can equip these items early in Jailbreak, it is actually really easy to do. All you have to do is first spawn any vehicle you want, I'll be spawning the Shell Mark 5, then go over to your customization and go into the category of the item you're looking for. So since the first item in the pass are tires, we're going to go look for tires right over here and check the all icon in the top right. As you can see, we now have even items that I normally do not have unlocked. And finally, sort of by newest, and there you go. There is the new Bowie rims inside of Jailbreak. Now I am level two, so that is why it's unlocked. But if you guys are not already level two, you can still check out this item for yourself. So putting them on, they're honestly not my favorite rims in Jailbreak. Now, don't get me wrong, they look nice, but I find them to be really hard to style with vehicles. Now, my car is purple, so it will not look good, but I don't think this would go good with many vehicles in general. Maybe someone out there is able to style it properly, but for me, I don't think I'll be ever using this reward. Alright, so the third reward we unlock will be the Surfboard Rack Spoiler. So once again, you go under Spoiler, make sure it's on Newest and All, and there you go right there, it's a Surfboard Rack Spoiler. Now, something I did notice while looking at this item is depending on the color you use will determine what the boards are, which does make sense, but if we do, for example, Chrome, it'll of course make all the boards Chrome, which is expected for a lot of rewards. However, if we put blue on, for example, as you can see, the blue shade is on top, but below it, we have a darker blue option. And this applies to many things like orange, where you have two different shades, red, as well as radiant yellow, surprisingly, does have two different shades, one that is glowing and one that is not. I really like this feature on the reward, however, I'm not a big fan of it due to its large size, and it is most likely because of the Mark V, which is a bigger vehicle, but apart from that, I really, really do love this feature of how it is multicolored depending on the color used, and I hope to see more of these in the future. But moving on to the fourth reward, we have the volleyball rims. Now, these were something I was not really looking forward to because they did not look too interesting, and and as you can see on my vehicle, yeah, they're still quite mediocre and more on the lower side for items you can currently equip. Now there are a bunch of colors you could of course put on it like Hyper Shift, which I guess looks a little bit better, especially since it does have some 3D layers, but it's a very basic and mo- Oh, okay, I did not expect that. Wow, okay, so rating colors actually do look different depending on where you put it. So I'm assuming if I also put on the Radiant Red, yeah, so the middle part is glowing, but everything else seems to be more of like a matte finish. This is actually really nice. Nice. Putting on like Radiant Green or Radiant Ice looks really nice at these volleyball rims, having the three lines glowing but the rest of it all darker. So you know what, I take what I said, this is actually a really cool rim and it does suck I don't unlock it yet, but yeah, once I do, I'll be using this for sure. Now something I do want to mention heading on over inside my apartment is that this does not work with furniture items. So as you remember, if you do go under the garage and equip the item by pressing all, you can actually see it on your vehicle, however furniture does not work the same. If we go under the furniture UI and go on store, inventory, or wherever, we are unable to actually see the item placed down in our apartment or even view what it may look like. So because of this, I don't know exactly what it looks like in-game. However, there are Reddit posts on the Jailbreak creations, which I will link in the description if you guys want to check out what this would look like inside of the game. All right, so moving on to level six reward, we have the Aqua Skin Texture. Now, this is something I've been really excited for to see inside Jailbreak and putting it on, you can't, okay, you can't quite see with the body color. So let me go put on something that's a little bit easier to see through, which could be white. And yeah, okay, this looks actually really nice. I actually really do like the texture. Now, it's a bit lower quality than I thought it would have been coming in Jailbreak, but it still looks really nice, especially from a distance on vehicles. Now, as the seventh reward, we have another rim, which is the Ducky Rims. I don't know the exact name of it, but yeah, Rubber Ducky Rims right over here. And these are actually really cute. I did not expect this item to actually be coming to Jailbreak, but now that it is, it actually looks really nice. I love the little detail, the shades in front of its eyes, which I think looks really nice. And yeah, so there we go. We've got a better look of it. And it is a bit big, but personally, I probably probably not be using these rims 
anytime soon. All right, skipping number eight because it is another furniture item. At number nine, we have the Shell Speaker Spoiler. Now, this is probably one of the most unique spoilers we have seen inside Gerberic for some time, and that is because it is completely animated. So as you can see, once I put this on, we do get some ripples of sound waves, which you would normally have in the ocean, but they do look pretty decent. So yeah, I will probably be using these later once I do unlock them. Now, moving on to what you guys have been waiting for, the level 10 Grand Prize Poseidon for season 16. I was sent footage from an anonymous user which will be checking out for the first time and getting my honest reaction. So it is not a long video at all, it is very short and I'm not entirely sure how they even got this vehicle or anything of what's going on. So I'm going to play it for you guys and then we'll go through this video. All right, so that was the entire video of them driving to Poseidon, and I'm not sure if this is the final speed we're gonna see inside the game. The devs may up the speed or even lower it depending on future updates, but so far it does seem decently fast for a vehicle, and I'm also not sure which engine is currently equipped, but I'm gonna assume it is the level five engine. Now, something I also noticed while watching this video is if you listen closely, you can actually hear the spoiler from the snake. So I'm not sure why that is happening. I'm not sure if there's a secret feature that we'll be getting later that applies to that sound being transferred over, or it is just an audio bug that is currently inside of the game. Either way, it is really cool to see this vehicle inside the game, and I'm really excited when I unlock it at level 10 later this season. But anyways, that's all for the video. Let me know what you guys think about the season 16 rewards in the comments. My name is Model, and I'll see you guys in the next video.